play, uh, of playing kind of um, uh, interviews with various prisoners. Uh, and it was fascinating to me because I went in and sat down and listened to this and, and uh, listened to one fellow who said uh, it, he loved doing this kind of thing for Fonsal because it was the only color he saw all day. Um, and then another one said that he got a note back saying that one of his pieces had been sold to someone in America and never in his wildest dreams did he ever think anything he did. And it was, just, it was extraordinary to me. And so that was when I realized there had to be something that we could collaborate on um, moving forward because it was such a beneficial service that was being supplied. Because so of the money, it was their beneficial service. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's, and, and it's what we take for granted. You know, you leave uh, your stitchers and go outside into the bright sunshine and realize that, you know, for, for me to say to you, make sure you have good light to separate your colors is an easy thing to do. You just walk anywhere and make it happen. Where in the, in the scenario that you're dealing with, that's not always so easy. So it may be that um, you know, we're going to have to be very cognizant of what we send to you to have stitched. It may be that if we have a particular kit that has colors that are very close in range, that may not be something advisable but to I send. I would have thought that, that, if it was as simple as that, yes. it would be absolutely fine. Perfect. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely fine. Mm -hmm. I, I can tell you one example is the uh, two fat suffix sheep. There are oh, about yes. four shades yes. of cream in there and they're very, very close. But if so, you actually tell them to sort it out in daylight uh, and just to almost label it. Um, I don't know what's available in terms of, uh, and you can speak to this, but obviously I can't, uh, in terms of when you sort your wool. For Elizabeth Bradley, we sell what are referred to as, as wool organizers, and they're, they're oh, a wooden, yes, you know, with the little holes yes, in them, and you just yes. anchor your thread on them. Yeah. Um, what I've suggested, and, and people will say, oh, I'd love to own a wool wool organizer but I can't afford it and so what I suggest they do is they go out and they buy um, you, when you get soft drinks um, in six tins and they yeah. have the little <laughs> yes. rubber ring the little yeah. plastic rings <laughs> yes. that's what I tell them to sort their wool onto and so they yeah. have the rubber rings and they just loop the thread through the rubber ring yeah, but she, she wouldn't be able to do that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she wouldn't be able to do it. So I, I'm not quite sure if there is a solution. But I think if it's as simple as, yes. as that, it's not going to be a problem. Ours only stitch in their cells, yes. and they have one light. Right. And it's yes. not good enough. Exactly. And right. Therefore, <laughs> and therefore, you actually can't do it. But do, my, my, my kit, does everybody's kit contain two lots with the mm. same colours? That's right. Yes, See? it does. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So that, in fact, in itself, is do they not come in more solid colours? We, I mean? we, we could. We could do, do that. The full range of colours.